Hi, this is Scott from Roland, and I'm here at Craft Music showing you the Juno DS. For some really great deals, check out the Craft Bundles. The Juno DS is an incredible performance keyboard, and it's perfect for any musician. It's super easy to use, it's very intuitive, and you know what, it just does a lot. There's two different versions. The first one is this 88 note version with the Ivory Field G action, plays incredible. And the other version is a 61 note synth action with velocity sensitive keys. So no matter what your needs are, we have both of those bases covered. The sounds of the Juno DS are extremely versatile. You have over 1,200 different sounds and over 30 drum kits. And you'll be able to cover any type of genre that you can imagine. So there's quite a few ways that you can play sounds on the Juno DS. For instance, you have single mode where you can play one sound on the entire keyboard. Then there's split mode where you can split the keyboard into two separate key ranges Maybe have a bass sound on the bottom and a keyboard sound on the top. Dual mode, which allows you to layer two sounds on the keyboard. There's a really cool feature called Super Layer. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to layer the same sound up to five times and then detune those sounds. It's really, really cool for, to fatten up like a lead sound or really warm up a pad. Now since these sounds are so versatile, you can save all your favorite sounds into a user location. So that, that user location can have layers, it can be zoned. However you want to configure your sound, you can save that for instant recall. And for even faster recall, you can save your favorite sounds to the favorites bank. So you can recall any of these 1200 sounds immediately.
A reoccurring theme that we have with the newer products with Roland is that we have rewritable Wave ROM internal memory. So you can go up to the Axial website and you can download free new sounds. So it's really, you can customize your Juno exactly the way that you want it. So you can really take ownership of this incredible keyboard. In addition to all the really cool sounds of the Juno DS, you also have a lot of real-time control over those sounds. You have four knobs, and these knobs are three-tiered. So for instance, in the first tier, the four knobs will control parameters such as cutoff, resonance, attack, and release. You go to the second tier, you have mic reverb, multi-effects control, chorus and delay amount, and reverb. On the third tier, these are assignable to whatever controllers that you want to put for that sound. There's also four faders. These four faders give you control over mixing the sound or the parts that you're using on the Juno DS. For instance, you have mic input, you have the phrase pad level, so when you're using the pads, and you also have an upper and lower volume control so you can balance the level of the keyboard parts. Now, in addition to all of these cool sounds and all this cool functionality, you have an amazing set of effects. There's 80 multi-effects types. There's three choruses and five reverbs. So you really have an amazing set of sounds and effects to make your music perfect. Now let's check out the phrase pads. These phrase pads are multifunctional as well. Now they can trigger rhythm patterns. You have eight different rhythm patterns. You can select the style. Every kind of genre is possible here. You can use the pattern sequencer so that you can record and then play back your own customized patterns. And there's also audio playback. So you can play back full songs and organize your set list and have audio playback from the pads as well. There's also some playback features on the phrase pads where you can loop a pattern, you can mute any one of the parts, you can use tap tempo to quickly match the tempo of a drummer or an existing track, and when you're recording the, the patterns, you can use erase and it can erase specific parts of the pattern. Very, very easy. The workflow on the Juno DS is, is absolutely perfect. The vocoder on the Juno DS is really cool. Not only does it do vocoding effects, but it also does very cool auto pitch effects. 
Now make sure that your mic cable has a quarter inch connector so it can connect easily into the back of the Juno DS. As I mentioned before, you can play back audio from the phrase pads in a song type fashion, or you can use the sample import feature. And you can import the, the sample from the USB drive onto the keyboard and play it back from the keyboard. Now, as I mentioned before, that this is 16 part multi timbral so you can actually have 16 different parts, one sample per part. So that means that I could have 16 different samples going on and play those back in different key ranges and have just a lot of fun using audio. Not only is the Juno DS an incredible performance and recording instrument, it's also an amazing controller. So you just go into the DAW control mode and you have certain setups, one for Logic Pro, one for Sonar, one for Cubase, and a user setup. So you can, can, can configure this to whatever DAW that you're working with. Now when you're in DAW mode, you can just conveniently connect the USB cable right from the back of the Juno DS into your DAW and you're good to go. It's streaming audio and MIDI. There's also a USB slot for your flash drive. So that means that you can save all of your setups, all of your zones, all of your layers, everything that you can configure on the Juno DS, you can save as a backup, but it also will hold and play back instantaneously all of your audio files, whether you're using for songs or individual samples. All of this data will reside on the USB memory. So whether you're performing on the stage or working on music in the studio, the Juno DS, it just sounds good. It just makes a lot of sense. It's perfect for what you need. So once again, I'm Scott Tibbs from Roland. I'm here at Craft Music. And don't forget to check out those craft bundles. <laughs>